Robert Sherman is live on the ground in Tel Aviv with the latest. Robert. Good morning to you, Adrian. And we're seeing a renewed push from the IDF to bring those more than 200 hostages home. The IDF trying to communicate with the people of Gaza directly, asking for anyone who is not in support of Hamas to give them any information possible about where those hostages might be located or anything that could help them get them back to Israel safely. And you understand why. You stand here on the ground, you feel the void that has been left behind in this community. If you take a walk through Tel Aviv, you might see this today. This is a new exhibit that's up not too far away from us. It's a row of teddy bears, each one of them blindfolded with a photo of a child on them. Each one of those teddy bears represents one of the children who has been kidnapped, taken by Hamas, and has not been returned home. People here throughout this community pleading for the children to be let go. Bring them back, bring them back. I'm sending love to all the families that are waiting for these children and to all the other hostages. The world must wake up and understand today it's Israel, tomorrow it's them. Don't be naive. Terror. <laughs> is not a company for any anyone in this world they don't want us here as calls grow louder from world leaders to have the hostages released we are seeing the idf ramping up its bombing operations in the gaza strip intensifying its staging along the border the idf says they're ready to go for the ground invasion once they get the green light they have not been given that yet Meanwhile, on the other side in Gaza, the situation deteriorating as the UN says the aid that's coming in, it's just not steady enough. The number one resource that they're worried about is fuel. Hospitals that are running off of generators with less than two days of a supply left. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.